But you have to have a conversation. It just makes sense. You have to turn to somebody and say, with a 9.4% unemployment rate in the state of Florida, why would we allow any illegal immigrant to have a job? In a state where we are struggling, we can't balance the budget, they want to cut the schools which can barely educate the children while they accommodate the children of illegal immigrants and while the hospitals accommodate them at the primary care center. You ask your neighbor, is that okay with you? Because every time I frame the question correctly, the answer is always the same. No, it's not okay with me, but what am I going to do? This is what you're going to do. You're going to gather. You're going to educate one more person. You're going to stop looking at party lines when you make a voting decision because both parties are the same. It doesn't matter whether it's an R or a D. They love the power. They want to contain themselves. They want to stay in Washington. They want to stay in Tallahassee. They want to stay in the political system. It was never designed to be a career. You're supposed to go up there to serve like you serve in the military and then come back to your community. So what we've done with this two-party system is allowed them to become career politicians. Therefore, they answer to nobody but their campaign contributors. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I stopped contributing a couple of years ago. So they're not answering to me, that's for sure. So what you have to do is look at individuals, look at candidates, look at what they stand for. Find out if they've got that fire in their belly. Because if they don't, they will be submissive when they get up there and nothing will change. You know, I stood up here and I laughed because I watched people react to Colonel Allen West, who is the first candidate I've ever endorsed in my career. And I watched people who, who react to that fire in his belly, his, his, his absolute integrity when it comes to telling the people who are already in power that their party is over if he gets to Washington. You need people like that to run for the mayor of Jupiter, to run for the commission seat in Pompano Beach, to run for any public office. Get your farm team raised up so that we can take Washington back. He can't do it alone. We're going to have to start putting together candidates. There's another candidate here that's going to speak to you. Check them out carefully. Make sure that what they say lines up. When Marco Rubio came on my show, I said to him, you stood in the way of six House bills about illegal immigration, and he said, it wasn't my priority. Well, guess what? If it wasn't his priority, I'm not sending him to Washington. And that's the way, you, and it's not because I don't think he could be a leader. I think he probably could be, if he spends enough time with me, he could probably be a leader. But uh, I'm not that interested in, in grooming candidates. Uh, but I will tell you this, it's time now, really, it's time now for you to make a decision that you're not going to stand down. If I've been called a racist. I've been called a Hispanophobe. I've been called... I mean, obviously, I'm now a radical extremist. I, I'm an anti... Uh, the, the newest memo out about me is that I'm anti-Islamic because I dare to stand up and say that there's no way I'm going to live in a country that's been radically Muslimized. It's not going to happen in my, on my watch. And I'm not afraid to say it. I know who the enemy is. You're not the enemy. You're not the enemy. The enemy are terrorists. The enemy are people who want to change my way of life. And some of them may be your gardeners. And I'm not afraid to call it out. If there are people in this country who don't love this country and they don't belong in this country, the only words I have for them, good bye. And that goes for Americans who hate this country. Keith Oberman, good bye. Janine Garofalo, good bye. Susan Sarandon, good bye. We don't need you here. So don't be afraid. Talk back, email, fax. You see these people who have organizations from Flyman to Concerned Citizens of Dade. You get involved with these people. You support their efforts. You, If you're going to make a contribution, make it to one of these organizations that have been out here defending you week after week, month after month, and getting the word out. That's where your money should be going, not to these lame brains in Washington who send you these solicitations and tell you how they're going to put a post office in your neighborhood. Yeah. You know, I, I'll tell you something. 
<laughs> We're not going to have post office soon, all right? So, uh, you know, it's almost irrelevant, some of the solicitations I get from politicians. And you need, to, you need to start paying careful attention to that. Support the people who have been fighting for you, who stand on the front lines, show up at these rallies, show up at the tea parties, show up at a million man march on Washington, and take your country back. Because if you don't, he's absolutely right, Alan West. Someday, like Ronald Reagan said, we'll be trying to describe to our grandchildren what it was like to live in a country that was free. I don't want to be in that position. So I thank you very much for your time and for coming out today. Don't stand down!